Hello everyone, Miss Coomer here with your online art class. Today we will be focusing on surrealism. Surrealism is an art movement that specializes in irrational or dreamlike images. The most famous surrealist image you've probably seen is Salvador Dali's The Persistence of Memory. Dali's melting clocks could exist only in a dream world. Rene Magritte is another surrealist artist. In his art, we generally see realistic looking objects in strange combinations and doing impossible things, like his famous time transfixed painting. Today, I'm going to show you how to create your own surrealist style composition. Let's get started. All right guys, so to get started, I just have a paper and a pencil. Uh, and the surrealist drawing that we're gonna be creating is going to be uh, sort of a curtain being pulled back to reveal a scene. Uh, the scene that you do is totally up to you, but we're gonna do the curtain part uh, sort of together, okay? Uh, so you're gonna make a mark about, I would say, a quarter of the way across your paper. So about there. So watch how I do this line. I'm gonna start off wide, I'm gonna come in, and then I'm gonna flow out again. And next we're gonna do the wrinkles that are in the fabric. Uh, now, when you can imagine, you can imagine like fabric being scrunched up. Uh, that fabric's gonna be nice and loose down here, but here in the middle, uh, those lines are gonna start to be really close together because that's where the fabric is gonna bunch up. So when I start drawing my fabric, I'm gonna have uh, leave a little bit of a space and as I get further towards the middle, I want my line to come closer to that first line that I drew. And then sort of flare out and get far away from it at the bottom. Uh, the next set of lines I will be doing are gonna go across my paper. Uh, so watch how I'm gonna do that. Wherever I have a section, I'm gonna create like a hill line, a little uh, scoop up. So from there to there. And like that. And you guys can see uh, the smaller the section, the smaller that curve line. So my curtain is gonna be striped here. I'm gonna bring that all the way down the paper. And there we go. Next I'll be doing some shading. Um, so if you can imagine when fabric gets scrunched up, let me just pull a piece of fabric over here. A sweater. <clears throat> and where those folds sort of um, come up, it's gonna be nice and light. And then as that fold sort of goes down, it casts a shadow, right? So it's these two dark rows um, around a light row. So we're gonna be doing that on our artwork as well. So taking your pencil, uh, on the very outside of these wiggly shapes, I'm gonna add a nice darker value. So I'm gonna come all the way down, my darker value. I'm gonna do that on the other side too. Uh, and then I'm going to gradually make that lighter as I head towards the very middle of my section. So I'm gonna gradually lift up the pressure. Okay, so we have this dark value, a sort of medium value, and then the very middle, it's white, okay? And I can even blend that with my finger. I think this is a great opportunity to blend. Okay, 
I'm going to do that with each of my sections. There's my darkest value. Go in with one slightly lighter. And then I take my finger and I blend. And keep going. is also a little bit interactive so if I take my two fingers and put them here it's sort of like I'm pulling that curtain back uh, and I told you we were gonna put some sort of scene back here uh, so think of something that's interesting surrealism is very dreamlike so uh, you could have something really odd and goofy going on in the background um, I am going to do like a seascape So there's my water on the horizon. I'm gonna do a sun. But to make it look a little weird, I think I'm just gonna turn that sun into, I don't know, maybe a giant donut. So I'll add another ring, maybe another ring here. frosting and then I'll be throwing some sprinkles in and then this will be like I don't know a giant coffee ocean maybe I'll have a little beach down here maybe some footprints on the sand Uh, so you guys can leave this side of your paper pencil, uh, but I do want you to add some color over here just to sort of create that um, unusual play between the two sides. Uh, so I hope you guys have fun with this. Uh, I'm going to continue to color, but have a great week, everybody. Bye.